friends. So today we're going to be doing something kind of fun. I did my what I got for Christmas call, call, haul, mall, haul, which if you haven't seen is, I'm going to put it in one of the, wherever the thing is, um, and you guys can go watch it. But a lot of you requested after I did that haul to do a comparison on the Natasha Denona Sunset palette and the Yes Please palette from ColourPop. So that's what we're doing today. Um, I know this video has been done a few times before, but I'm wondering if I'm going to have a different opinion. I know a lot of people have said that they're basically the same thing. Um, I actually have not used the Yes Please Yes Please palette literally at all yet. Um, but I've used the Natasha Denona twice. And you can see it's already gotten kind of dirty. Um, I've really, really enjoyed this palette so far. It has not proven to be $129 worth yet. But I'm giving it a little time before I get judgy. So, just right off the bat... I'll open them both up again so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. Just right off the bat, you can kind of see that there are some definite, I'll turn this sideways, there's definitely some similarities and some differences between the two. You can see we have a yellow shade, we have kind of those creamy shades, the shimmer shades are very similar, um, but the Natasha Denona is a 15 pan pan palette and this is a 12 pan palette. There's also significant difference in size and quality of packaging. So you can see the... Yes Please palette is definitely a lot smaller than the Natasha Denona and the Natasha Denona has a really nice almost like a fake leather type packaging I could say if you've never felt it. It's very sleek and smooth. This definitely looks like an expensive palette whereas this one is the standard ColourPop kind of cardboard packaging. It's still very cute. I don't really judge things on the packaging, but I just thought since we're doing a comparison, it would be fun to compare. I already have done my face makeup today, um, and basically what I want to try to do is create the same look using both palettes. So do this eye with the ColourPop and this eye with the Natasha Denona. I am going to be using the same brush for each. This is my brush thing. <laughs> it's excessive. Um, I am going to be using the same brushes for each one, but I have a little color switch right here. So hopefully it won't like cross contaminate and like me. We're very close and personal. This is why I've been wanting this camera so I can do these close ups and like see you guys. Okay, so we're just going to open these two up. I have them right in front of me. I'm hoping I can do shade names as well. The, the only thing I hate about the Natasha, sorry we're so like close and personal when I'm doing this, but I hate this stupid flappy thing in the Natasha Denona. It's like, really? Um, all right, let's go in. I'm going to color switch it off first so we can see. All right, so we are going to start off by going into the Natasha Denona, and we are going to be doing this pinky shade right here called Bermuda. And we are just going to be doing that all over the lid to kind of give us a little bit of a base to go off of. You can see it's very, like, even the difference in the two eyes, it's incredibly pigmented. Even a really light shade like that. So I am going to go into the ColourPop palette that is called Big Cocktails. And that is this shade right here which is pretty comparable. I don't know which of these palettes came out first, and I'd be interested to see if the Natasha Denona did or the ColourPop one did, because the similar, ooh, that's pigmented too, though. The similarities are just, like, shocking to me. Like, I'm, like, looking at these two palettes, they're just so incredibly similar. All right, whoa, ColourPop had a ton of powder, though. I don't know if you guys can see that. Lots of powder. Very, very, very powdery, which is not, that's not like the Femme Rosa. The Femme Rosa is not powdery at all. So this might be a different formula than other ColourPop. I'm not entirely sure, but that's a little weird. Um, What else do we have similar? These two oranges are pretty close. I'm going to go in with the Natasha Denona in the shade Horizon, which is this orange. And the Natasha Denona doesn't have a lot of fallout except with its shimmer shades. But I feel like all shimmer shades have fallout, so. I like these um, shadows, the Natasha Denona ones, because they're pigmented, but they're also buildable. Which I really, really, really like and appreciate. I feel like buildability. I'm going to build this up just a little bit more because I want this orange to be just a little bit more intense. We're going to go into the comparable shade to that, which is Louie which is the shade right here from the ColourPop palette. I did just stick my finger in it, so 
again. Wow, I'm like actually really surprised. I don't know if you guys can see how messy that shade just got. It got very, 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 very powdery. Incredibly powdery, actually. This is a lot more pigmented. Right off the bat. Wow. See, I don't mind if they're powdery as long as they deliver. And that is the orange I was actually looking for on the Natasha Denona. That orange is like stunning. And this is kind of... Let me try to go in with the Natasha Denona one more time and not knock any powder off. And see if that gives me that result. Yeah, still not really the pow of orange. They're definitely softer shades. I'm actually shook right now at the pigment on this. Like, can you see this color, Popeye? <sighs> Powdery AF, but like the pigment is definitely, definitely there. I'm just trying to blend that out a little bit more. Wow. Damn. Okay. And I'm going to go in with the yellow and try to soften up these outer corners just a little bit. I'm going to try to do something of a halo eye, I think, and do the yellow on the inner and outer corner, so... So I'm packing on that pigment, and you can see the yellow shade from the Natasha Denona is called Soul. And it looks like that. And I, am I doing it in the right eye? Okay. That yellow is very nice, you can see that. Ooh, yeah. Yellows are really, really hard to do. Um, and this yellow is really, really, really nice so far. I'm doing like a semi halo eye just because I think that will look kind of cute. I feel like halo eyes and sunsets just go well together. I'm loving how this looks though. Both of them. I am going to take the yellow shade from the ColourPop palette, which is called French Kiss. Which is this shade right here. And we're just going to go in. That one was not powdery at all, just so you guys know. And just lighten everything up here. I'm going to have two very different looks, I feel. Simply because of how much more intense this orange was. I was hoping I could just go out after this, damn it. Simply because of how intense this orange was. Compared to, I am going to have to dip in a second time because that pigment went away really quickly for the color pop. But again, this one is incredibly pigmented. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm kind of shook right now. ColourPop has me shook. Wow. Very, 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 very pigmented. Right in this one. The ColourPop one. So now I think I'm going to deepen that up. I'm going to take the shade in the ColourPop palette Mischief, which is this brown shade. It's like a brown purple shade. And I'm just gonna deepen up my inner and outer corner with this. That one has a little bit of powder too, but not too much, which is nice. I'm just trying to get that. That's cute. And then we're going to do the same thing with the Natasha Denona palette in the shade Volcano. And that is the shade right here. We're going to do that. I'm liking this eye look though. Sunset tones are absolutely my favorite. Yeah, there's really no fallout with the Natasha Denona at all. And this dark shade is pigmented. I will say I have to do significantly less blending with the Natasha Denona side than I do for the ColourPop side. I will say that. The blending doesn't need to be, a th I just put that color there and it blended it. I'm sorry if I have a little bit of water come out of this eye. I'm really sick. I have like a sinus infection, so I'm just like have water. Um, so the blendability, so far Natasha Denona wins. 
but for pigmentation so far, the Sunset Palette is really crushing it with pigmentation. I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, if you hate Fallout, though, you're going to hate this ColourPop palette, 100%. Let's try and do the glitters. So I am going to be going in with the shade Spoiled, which is this gold shade right here from ColourPop. I think I'm going to do Fix Plus for both of these, simply because I think that makes Spoiled Shadows look better. So we're going to do that. And I'm just going to take that on the brush. Very, very pigmented. Lots of, this is going to have fallout, I can already tell. That's very pretty. I can like feel it falling though. Does it leave a residue? Let's see. Oh no, it clears up pretty nice. So we have this side, which I just really lightly patted that pigment onto. And I'm just patting the sides to spread it out a little. We're gonna go back in with another color to blend that out better, don't worry. I just dropped the top to my color switch, which is fine. I wanna get this like really clean, cause I really wanna know. I'm gonna spray this with Fix Plus one more time. And now we're gonna go in with the Natasha Denona shade. Natasha Denona is kind of known for her shimmers. So I'm curious to see how this compares. Ooh, yeah surprisingly very similar that's crazy you can see that the color pop one I don't know if you can fold let me zoom you in just like a teeny bit more I know we're already really up close and personal you can see the color pop one is a tiny bit less metallic than the Natasha Denona the Natasha Denona is just a little bit more metallic and bright whereas the color pop one is just a little bit more dull I don't know if you can see that but this one is definitely a tad duller. But for the difference in price, like, I don't know. It's not that much different. Um, all right, I'm gonna go in with this big fluffy brush again. Why don't we do a red to pull this together? I am gonna take the ColourPop shade Butter Cake, which is this red right here. And I'm go, so much fallout. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not vibing with the fallout, I'm not gonna lie. And we're just gonna place this, kind of blend it all together. Really get that inner corner, can't quite get it. Cause it's a little bit tricky to get in there. I think I'm gonna take this Anastasia brush and just put a little bit of pigment on that and go into the, there we go. Yeah, yeah that's cute. Okay, so this, this eye turned out cute. I'm gonna give you my thoughts in one second. <laughs> I gotta finish up. So I am gonna take the red shade in the Natasha Denona palette. This is so difficult. I did not realize how hard this was gonna be. I am gonna take that red shade Pangin right here. And I am gonna do the same thing I just did with the, ooh, that has some fallout. That Pangin color has some fallout. Reds are tricky though. See, I don't need the second brush for the Natasha Denona. The color just kind of goes where it needs to go. I will say that. Wow. I'm gonna take this brush with no color on it, this big fluffy brush, and just blend both of these a little bit more. Just to give a little bit more. Hmm. All right, I'm going to do my eyes and everything else, and then I'm going to come back to you guys and give you guys my final thoughts on these two palettes. All right, friends. I put on the rest of my makeup and my lashes and my eyeliner and completed the look, and whilst completing the look, these look literally identical. Um, I didn't expect this to happen. There are some differences. The Natasha Denona without a doubt does blend better, um, 100%. There is a lot less fallout with this palette except with the glitters, but again, with any glitter, you're gonna get fallout. Um, a lot less kickback, especially. There's a ton of kickback in the ColourPop palette. Um, but I don't, the more I have this, the more I'm like, I don't know why this is worth $129. Um, I definitely thought these eyeshadows when I got them were gonna be life-changing, and they have been really fantastic, but they're just, not 
$129. Like, the fact that I am wearing two, you can't even tell I'm wearing two different palettes on my eyes. This one was very kickbacky, had a lot of kickback. Um, the shimmer was not as metallic and bright as the Natasha Denona one, but it's fine. Like, if you want sunset palette, sunset eyes, just get this one. I'm very surprised. I did not think the quality of the ColourPop one was going to be as good as it was. And I did not think the quality of the Natasha Denona was going to be not as good as it was. Um, I really love both of these palettes and I'll definitely continue to use both of them. Honestly, I will probably reach, if I'm being completely honest with you guys, I'll reach for the Natasha Denona more because it was easier to use. And I... I don't mind kickback when there's pigment and there is pigment to this, but I don't love kickback. I think if you can avoid it, I will. Um, so this is not going to be one I reach for too, too much unless I'm doing sort of a comparison video, but this is a great palette for $16. I would, I would get this. <laughs> if you are like thinking about buying this Natasha Denona palette, get the sunset one instead. You don't need this. This is like a bougie, nice item to have. I'll never get rid of this and I'll definitely use the crap out of it. But it's just not something I would have bought for myself. And it's not something I would recommend you guys to buy for yourself, if that makes sense. All right, that is today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you liked it. I hope you liked the look we created. We're going to be doing more tutorials. I think I'm going to be posting my review and comparison on the two storybook cosmetics palettes that I have coming up soon. So get ready for that. Um, yeah, I love you guys very much. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe or just like or just subscribe or do neither and just watch the video. I'm so happy you're here. Um, I think that's everything. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.